What is server? A server is a powerful computer or software system that provides resources, data, or services to other devices or users, typically called clients, over a network. This is the network architecture for server's configuration in Cisco Packet Tracer. For simulation, let us add router switches. One switch for office network and another for data center. Add PCs under office network. Then under data center, add servers for DHCP, DNS, email, FTP web. At last connect all the nodes. Provide IPs for all the nodes. Let's provide proper namings for all the servers, starting with DHCP server, DNS server, email server, FTP server, web server, assign static IP address. For that we have to select interface G0 slash 0 slash 0. Then IP address 10.0.0.1255.0.0.0. No shutdown. To save the configuration, type do right. Let's cross verify the configuration made. For that type do show run. IP address has been assigned properly. We have to assign static IP address for all the servers. Let's start from DHCP server. Type 10.0.0.2. Subnet mask will be same. For default gateway provide 10.0.0.1 and DNS 10.0.0.3. Provide 10.0.0.3 and for others it should be same like DHCP server. For this provide 10.0.0.4 10 10.0.0.6 Let's configure DHCP server. Change service to on. We have to create pool in DHCP. Provide pool name office underscore network. Assign gateway and DNS IP. Provide start IP address that is 10.0.0.10. So DHCP server assigns IP starting from 10.0.0.10. Now pool has been added in DHCP server. Now go to PCs. Under IP configuration choose DHCP. IP has been assigned successfully using DHCP. Let's perform the same for the rest of the PCs.
Let's configure DNS server. Select DNS. Then turn on the service. Provide abc.com as domain name. In address add 10.0.0.6. Click on Add. Let's turn on HTTP service. By default service is turned on. Go to any of the PCs and from command prompt type pingabc.com. We are getting ping reply from the destination machine. Domain name is properly resolving to IP address. It confirms DNS has been successfully configured. From any of the PCs, Go to web browser and provide URL that is http colon slash slash abc.com. Once we browse the URL, we may view the contents. It attests to the successful configuration of the HTTP server. Now let's configure FTP server. Provide username and password along with write, read, delete, rename and list permissions. Go to any of the PCs and open command prompt. Type FTP and the IP address of FTP server that is 10.0.0.5. It's successfully connected to FTP server. Now provide FTP username and password. We are now logged into the FTP server. To list down the files type dir. Now let's configure the email server. Provide domain name as abc.com and click on set. Create users for email. Now go to any of the PC. Let's set up the email client. Provide the same details here that we have specified in the email server. For email address provide user1 at abc.com. For incoming and outgoing mail server provide IP of email server that is 10.0.0.4. Provide username and password as user1. Let's configure another email client. Provide another user information. Let's compose an email from user2.
Now let's check if user 1 has received any emails from user 2. User 1 has received an email from user 2. This confirms that email server has successfully been configured.